Hi there and welcome to this week market analysis. So as usual, what we're going to do is to share with you the updates over here and uh, highlight some of the opportunities that you want to pay a little bit more attention. So let's start off with the dollar index. Now dollar index, um, as for the most part of this week, we did not see much of a development. So dollar index over here, while we are generally looking for sell opportunities, expecting this to come back a little bit more to the downside. We do not currently have the pattern to confirm the momentum is indeed going lower. There's also no setup that allow us to take a trade. So as of now, um, the suggestion obviously then would be to just remain a bit patient for the dollar index. And of course, that would naturally translate to some of the major pairs like euro dollar, pound dollar, as well as Aussie dollar us to just be a little bit more patient right so if i bring it to euro dollar and you can see over here we're essentially expecting a three wave push like that um, but so far this development is not very impulsive and we do not have any sign of confirmation or even a setup to get involved in the buy trade so for that reason again we'll just remain patient and um, probably have our focus somewhere else while we allow price on some of these major paths to first develop gain some clarity before we commit to the trade. So if you take a look at pound dollar, um, generally it's going to be the same. We're kind of expecting a three wave move, but of course we need some kind of a indication from price, right? That indeed it wants to bounce before we commit to that buy. Aussie dollar has a little bit of an impulsive move, right? So I would say maybe in terms of like euro dollar, pound dollars, but Aussie dollar, Aussie does present a closer opportunity that we may get involved in it. But this would probably need to wait until I would say maybe sometime early next week because I want to see at least a three wave corrective pullback before we commit to the buy. Right? If you can get that, then obviously this would be a decent buy trade opportunity because we also have some confluence of a double bottom kind of formation. Okay, and of course, if you put into context, um, price has been coming down quite a bit, so um, we are naturally expecting that kind of bounce, right. So this one here, I think among the three would probably be the closest that would give us something closer to us next week, I would say. Okay, but you need to be patient and wait for that three wave corrective pullback before you commit to that trade. Okay. Now Dollar Canadian had a very interesting um, move yesterday where um, we did see the news release initial reaction was upside and then it came back down. Um, basically coming back to where it started, right? Uh, but from a larger time frame perspective, there it presents itself very nicely for a downside opportunity. Okay? So this one here is something that you may get maybe by later today or even tomorrow, depending on how price is gonna develop. Uh, the suggestion here is to go down to the hourly, okay, and see if we can get a, a correction kind of like set up, right? So we get an impulsive move. Um, right now, so far, we seem to have one and two. If this continue to go up a little bit more, that will give you a three wave corrective pattern on a H1. Um, if you're aggressive, of course, you can take, you know, a retracement entry technique. Alternatively, if you're a bit more conservative, especially since you jump into a lower time frame already, you can consider a breakout trade. But if you stop just above that, right? So, uh, dollar Canadian is naturally one of the trade that I'm personally looking into. If you can get that maybe by later today or even tomorrow, um, that will be a decent sell trade with a target around 1.3485. Okay. Now, dollar yen here, short term, we're still expecting a little bit of upside, but my personal take is uh, I will not be too keen in this trade. Um, dollar yen here, I'm personally waiting for the larger macro perspective of a potential sell. So any buy for me, I would probably avoid it at the moment. And I'll just be simply waiting and see if you can get a opportunity to get involved in the sell, right? waiting for the right setup as well. Okay, so that's on the dollar yen perspective. Do expect more volatility going into the price range of about 150 to 152 as well. Um, because the Bank of Japan has actually indicated that you know intervention is not out of the picture. They may actually do it if need to. Okay. Um gold trade here um has continued to go up a little bit. Okay, as of now, we did see the break of the minor high here. Uh, but to me, I think that's not a very, very genuine break. Um, the pattern seems to suggest that we may instead start to see some kind of a pullback soon. 
right um, naturally if I were to take out the RSI we do have the divergence there as well so there's no reason to be actually buying into this breakout right uh, in fact what I would suggest is wait for the pullback be a little bit patient wait for that pullback to happen maybe sometime next week would we'll get an opportunity to get involved in it overall direction remains bullish right there's no reason to be selling it the only thing you need to probably wait a little bit while is the timing wait for the pullback wait for the setup to come to you and then execute the trade accordingly okay so go here probably need to be a little bit patient on things um crude oil crude oil is another trade that i'm looking at that may actually give us something by the end of maybe today or even tomorrow so for our perspective we have came into the area of interest okay impulse three wave move wxy coming into the fit zone so what you want to look out for is going down to the hourly okay and see if you can get the hourly setup right so one setup here that may present itself is a crawl here and then of course we'll use a breakout technique to get involved in that crawl setup alternatively if this just comes down impulsive without the crawl then we'll just wait for a flag and then we'll take the breakout either way okay so what you can do is you can combine the multi time frame perspective right h4 will enter the zone h1 we look for the extra bit of confirmation and the setup to come to us and then we trigger that trade on the h1 and then the target here we can actually aim for extended target on the higher time frame so crude oil um, do pay attention quite similar to dollar canadian you may get the setup either by end of today or even maybe tomorrow right so pay close attention to that now smp i'm also monitoring for a potential buy trade over here it's currently developing its one and two um, likely if it comes down a little bit more here it may complete the third wave within the week um, if it does, then of course the key area to look out for is somewhere around 4308 to 4288. Um, again, we'll then drop into a lower time frame and see if we can get a setup to buy. Okay, so we're kind of looking at this as an impulse, correction, and an upside. All right, so this one here, pay a little bit of attention to that as well. Now, other than that, I think some of this pair here, like Aung Yan, will probably need to be patient. Okay, it's definitely not a trade set up this week. I think we'll probably need to wait until maybe late next week um, before the setup will come to us. So we need to just be patient on that. Euro pound, if you're looking at it, um, we did get that break. Uh, it's a very, very consolidated pair anyway. The market move, movement on this is not, it's not impulsive in nature. It's always corrective, you can see. So if you're looking at um, a trade on Euro pound, Okay, that might be something by the end of this week here as well if you can get a corrective pull back to a fit zone that will be a buy trade opportunity okay impulse correction impulse um, so that's something to look out for Aussie yen we're shifting to neutral so just uh, leave it okay I think the pattern itself is not clear so we'll just wait okay Pound Australia is another one that you can look into um, I think this is quite similar to dollar Canadian or even crude oil kind of like pattern you may get something by end of today or even tomorrow you know same thing we have a three wave move okay and uh price actually pull back towards the 50 the only thing that's not ideal is this is one move right but we can then use the multi time frame lower time frame confirmation and see if we can get a crawl pattern development here right if you can get that i think it's still a pretty decent buy opportunity um using the lower time frame so that your risk is smaller the risk reward makes a little bit more sense even if you just take it to the 50 percent mark you know with a crawl here you take it for 50 percent mark um the risk reward at least makes sense right because you're entering at the tightest stock okay. so pound australia um definitely do add that into the list okay you don't want to just buy in right you want to always wait for the setup because right now the momentum seems to be pretty bearish wait for a crawl on the hourly to give you that extra bit of confirmation that indeed market you know have that higher probability have the odds of reversing then you only commit to it uh bitcoin had a very nice little move uh we did manage to catch the breakout on this little pattern over here uh, for me i personally rolled it to somewhere there can't exit that trade um again when we see some kind of spike here it's basically a v-shape okay so we do expect some kind of consolidation after this which likely can develop here and maybe one more drop back down before the next push so overall i'm still bullish but we do not have any position right now of course if you still have any 
do manage it accordingly, right? It doesn't mean that you need to exit everything just like me because maybe our strategy is different, our style is different, right? Uh, but do expect a little bit of consolidation, okay? Um, I'm still bullish overall, but I'll just basically wait for the next opportunity to get involved in BTC. All right, so that's all for me. All the best for the remaining part of this week over here. And we'll see you guys in the next.